We do not change who legally can own a handgun or a rifle. We change who, we change the um, ability for people to carry discreetly. So right now I can walk into my local Gander Mountain and buy a handgun, strap it to my hip and walk up and down the street. What I cannot legally do in the state of Wisconsin is throw a sweater on. That's what we change. You know, I, I wish all constitutional rights were unfettered, had unfettered access, but they don't. For whether it's freedom of speech, including in the committee, the chair, right? He has the freedom to cut me off, right? Um, you know, in as theory. well. In theory. In theory. <laughs> And then, and then we also have, you know, not only um, our First Amendment, you know, rights, but even our right to vote. It's, it's a constitutional right. It's not an unfettered access. For law-abiding citizens. For law-abiding citizens, it is not unfettered access. For law-abiding citizens, you got to sign something. You almost got to do some cartwheels now. You got to do more to vote than you do to carry a weapon. Maybe it's in God, religion, and family. Because unless we can get people to change the way they think about things, uh, there's no way we're going to be able to stop violence. Well, you say you don't believe in mandatory training, but we have mandatory training to drive a car. We mandate children to go to school, to read, and write, and respect Hunting. the law. I think mandatory activity is good for society. If somebody's going to kill somebody, whether they're open carry, or concealed carry, the threat is the same. The only thing that changes is perceived fear.